Hi friends and welcome back to this video in which I would like to share with you a solution to a problem that I've been blocked uh, that actually it was bothering me for a little while here. So the context is that I'm working on an e-commerce app. This is by the way um, a subject of the course that is I'm preparing. Hopefully it will come out soon. So um, here we have the account page and certain pages like um, the order histories, the setting of the profile, the profile details and kind of stuff. So the goal is that I would like to protect these pages from uh, direct access. We need to make sure that the current user is logged in with certain login and password and he's really authentic. So the solution uh, regarding to the documentation is to use what we call a routing middleware. And this is actually my current setup. So you can see that I am using define next route middleware. And here, what I am doing, um, simply I'm creating a cause that is containing a piece of state here. It's called the account store. And from there, I'm calling a getter inside the computer uh, to get the user information. All right, so, and a quick console log just to display this information into the console of the browser. All right, so for the time being, if I navigate from page to page and move back to that specific page that I'm kind of hooking this middleware to be executed in, and by the way, it's an account info, you can see that we have information displayed correctly. We have ID, ID shop, and that object that has been fetched from the store, which is really classic. But now if I do reload the page, this is where the problem happened. Sorry for that. Um, so you can see that now I'm watching this route and we have a null. Well, because here what is happening is that this page, if actually the entire application, if we kind of access it for the first time, it do some, um, uh, what I did call the essential calls to fetch some data that we need to properly and correctly run the app. Like uh, for example, in this case, the user information, we check if the user is logged in. If so, we get information about that user elsewhere. We get nothing and redirect him to the login page in case we need that. So what is happening here is that this route middleware is being executed before that we get the response from the API. So this is not going to be a good solution. So the approach that I tested and seems to be working is the following. First of all, we use the next app here actually we are getting like the current next instance, the, the whole application and we start in this const and later we make sure that, I'm um, sorry, um, well, we don't really need this by the way. Sorry, we can take this off. And what I've done, I actually did a subscribe to that piece of state that I can restore. So every time something change, I'll be executing this callback. And this is by the way, very well documented. So if you are curious, you can go ahead and read. So now if I do refresh the page, you will see that here we have a nil, okay? But after like a second or so, we have console log displaying store ID, account, events, store, blah, blah, blah. Bunch of information actually that we are going to use to alter our code. And we got inside the event object, you can see that we have a new value object and inside it, we have information about the user and this information has been kind of fetch it from the API. So our code now is going to be as follow. We go, we are going to see or check the CB dot, dot event like so, and later, so event is going to contain the user information. And later we are going to do something similar to if this ID is valid, go ahead and let him access this, um, this resource elsewhere, go ahead and send him back to the login page or whatever we want. So that was a very quick video, like four minutes. Hopefully this is going to be helpful to, to someone out there. Uh, so if people are curious about this course, it's going to be um, ready in a while. So hopefully it will be ready before uh, June. Yeah, let's hope so. Thank you for watching. See you on next one. Ciao.